integral x squared cosine 4x dx. So then with our traditional method, if I go like that, I need to say u equals x squared, then du will be 2x dx. And I'm taking cosine 4x dx as dv. So then v will be integral of cosine of this one I have mentioned already will be 1 fourth sine 4x. So then this problem reduces to u dv because I said this is u and the whole thing is dv. See here. So then the form is again gives me uv minus integral v du. So all the results I have produced on the right side, plug it here. So you have x squared, your v is 1 fourth sine 4x minus v is 1 fourth sine 4x and our du is 2x dx. You see that? So then what happens? You have 1 fourth x squared sine 4x minus, let me do some simplification. I have 1 half and then integral x sine 4x dx. So this one again here goes with integration by parts. So let me have some space and do the second part. So I, I need to keep this one 1 fourth x squared we had. That one. Now in my next substitution in this, now I need to say my u is x and dv will be now sine for x sine for x dx so then when you have this now your u is dx and dv is one fourth negative will be here because when you take the integral of sine that will produce a negative and it will be cosine so you need to actually do integration by parts twice because this came back here so then again, if I go here, I have 1 fourth x squared sine 4x minus 1 half. Now I have new u dv. So this one again will give me uv minus integral v du. Okay. So you see 1 fourth x squared sine 4x minus one half now u is x your v is negative one fourth cosine four x and then minus integral v du so v u is this one so that will make it positive now one fourth cosine four x and then our du is dx, dx. So then let me now remove this. So you get 1 fourth x squared sine 4x minus, I'm keeping one half outside, negative 1 fourth x cosine 4x and then this one will give me again one fourth so that will make it one over 16 and cosine will make it again sine 4x and plus a constant so we are done for this integral now let me show you the shortcut version and let's verify the answer so what we do we write here x squared then we write cosine 4x in the small table we will we are able to complete this integral. This is derivative, this is integral. So the derivative of x squared is 2x 
then the derivative to, of 2x is 2, then it is 0. Once you get 0, then you stop. Cosine 4x will give me 1 fourth sine 4x. And then this integral will give me 1 over 4 times 4 is 16 cosine 4x, negative sign. And then this one again will give me 1 over another 4 will come. 1 over 4 times 16 is 64. And then this will be sine 4x. So I'm done with all the terms. See that we have done with UV method. Now the next part is the plus sign, minus sign, plus sign, and the ignore zero. Now first you multiply this one here, then this one, then this one. Now if you look at, first we have x square one fourth sine four x. Do you see here? That's the first term. And then the second one you see, you have this one, this one, this will make it positive. 2x times 1 over 16 will make it 8, right? So x over 8, that exactly you can see here, x over 8 plus, and then x cosine 4x is here. The next one is 2 times 1 over 64 will make it 32, and you can see 1 half, and this 16 makes it 32. And you have a negative here, so this negative goes here. So exactly matches, see there? 